Okay, hello, good afternoon. This is me already making another vlog messy. My apologies. Um, it's 20 past two. I have already filmed a clip this morning at about 11 o'clock telling you what I want to read for the next two days because we're going to make this 48 hour readathon. But uh, I've changed my mind. <laughs> I've just finished a book so I've changed my mind and we're not going to do that anymore instead um, so my plan was to read a bunch of the books that I was actually meant to read this month and decided not to at the beginning of the month so my plan was I had like five books on my TBR two of which I was halfway through which were The Score which I've just finished now and I'll tell you about in a second and The Prison Healer which I still want to finish um, the other three I was going to read, I'm not, I honestly am not interested. I've been trying to hype myself up and I don't really want to pick them up. Um, so I'd rather not force myself through them while I'm not in the mood. So what I want to read instead now is The Goal, which is book four in the Off Campus series. I just want to carry on with this series now and finish the series out. I do have the book in the following series from this, which is the first book in the following series from this, which is Briar's You. Um which is the chase i was just sent it um so i don't think i'll pick this i don't think i'll pick that one up you sit on a throne of lies i think my goal now <laughs> the goal i think my aim now is to read this one and then finish off the prison healer so that will probably be my reading vlog for today and tomorrow um i think that's my goal if i have something else if i have more time tomorrow and like i finish this tomorrow morning and i have the whole day to go i will probably try and pick something else up but i'm not sure what it will be but this is where i'm at at the moment so i have just finished the score by l kennedy and i ended up giving i haven't rated it i haven't sorry i haven't put it through core pile but i think this is definitely going to be at least a four star if not a five i really enjoyed this one we're following dean who is obviously one of the guys on the um briars team and he is uh, this is hockey sports romance by the way if you didn't know and we are following Al ali who is hannah's best friend hannah is the one of the main characters from the first book which is the deal so we're following ali who we've come across previously uh, we came across her in the first book can't remember who came across her in the second book but we're following her she's had a breakup and she's going through the process of this bit breakup and she ends up having um a one night stand with dean however because she keeps refusing him dean very rarely gets refused and he very rarely sleeps with the same person twice he is very much a player and um he it turns out is extremely attracted to ali and just wants to keep sleeping with her but she keeps turning him down and so the game ensues and um they go on this journey of uh lots of sex um, and a relationship and she's is really good i really enjoyed this one um i will say though just be wary of this one there is alcohol abuse in here um i also drug abuse as well just be wary of that going in and there is a death pretty pertinent death in here later on um which if you have been following the series like i have and binging it like i have will i cried <laughs> essentially um because i was pretty i was really really liking this character and i kind of wanted a spin-off book for this character but uh we are where we are with it so i enjoyed this um it was really good so yeah it's either going to be a four or five star i will obviously let you know at the end of the vlog when i do a wrap up what i gave it but that's where we're up to so i think i'm gonna sit down now and actually pick up the goal next and then probably focus on the prison healer tomorrow i'm having the best time with these books i'm not gonna lie l kennedy's writing is fantastic and i just love these characters so i am having a really really good time um but yeah i will check back in with you when i've got an update for you uh which will probably be a little bit later on and i'm gonna go and set this up now because it's asking me what language i would like this in and i don't want to click the wrong fucking thing because that would be annoying so i'll check back in with you later six and a half hours later hello hello it's a lot later. You are just balancing on the tripod. There's usually a thing that connects you on the bottom of my camera and then attaches you to my tripod, but the battery's dying, so it's pointless putting that on to take it off again. But I wanted to do a quick update. It's currently almost midnight and I'm about to go to bed and continue reading, but about two or three hours ago, Jade accidentally reminded me that I have a my last week's reading vlog needed to be edited and uploaded today so that it could be checked because it's a sponsored video so I've needed to just um edit that so I've spent the last couple of hours editing that which is really good because it's all done now it's uploaded and ready to go and be checked 
but I wanted to give you an update on how I'm doing with my reading of the goal. I am currently 217 pages into the goal. I'm doing really well. Um, I'm not going to finish this tonight, but I am going to go up and continue reading a bit more. I don't think I'm going to finish it tonight anyway. I'm not particularly sleepy, so maybe I could, but yeah, so far so good. That's all I've got left to read. So we'll see what happens. I think I'm liking this the most because I love Tucker. I think he's my favourite guy so far out of all the ones that we followed. So we followed Garrett in the goal, we followed Logan in the mistake, we followed Dean in the score and now we're following Tucker in the goal and I'm really enjoying this one. It's really, really good. I have to be careful with what I'm telling you with this. It is on the back what happens but I don't want to tell you too much because what happens in this it's an actual like reveal spoiler if you like at the end of the third book so I don't want to tell you too much but following Tucker who is obviously a part of the ice hockey team I'm following Sabrina as well who is one of the main focuses of the third book which is Dean's book because Dean and Sabrina have like this issue with each other they're both wanting to go to Harvard for law and something happened several years prior with Dean um, that means that Sabrina fucking hates him. There are re reasonable reasonable reasons why she does, but um, it's just a huge hang up that she's got with him and he's got with her and it's just a massive fucking issue. Anyway, Tucker ends up sleeping with Sabrina one night and um, they just kind of want it to be a one night thing. But Tucker is, he kind of wants it to be a bit more. Um, but again, just kind of, you know, sleeping together or whatever and he ends up in pursuit of her and she has huge walls up around her for reasons. Um, she's very busy, she works several jobs, she's also at college and she's also trying to get into Harvard for law. Um, she is not one of the rich kids like a lot of the kids are at Briar. I say kids though, she's 22. But she's not one of the rich ones like a lot of the people are at Briar Uni and she works really hard to try and get where she's going and things just kind of don't end up going the way that she hoped they would for reasons that's about as much as i can tell you without spoiling what actually happens in this book it is on the on the blurb so if you read the synopsis you will find out but i don't really want to spoil that because i feel like that's a spoiler a huge spoiler I feel like they're giving too much away with the synopsis, but either way, I'm really enjoying this one. I am gonna go up to bed and continue reading it, but my battery is now flashing at me, so I am gonna go, but I will give you an update tomorrow on what happens with this one and what I end up rating it, because I will finish it tomorrow, and then we'll jump on the prison healer, and I'm hoping that I do finish that one, but we will see what happens. But yeah, I will check back in with you tomorrow. Hello, hello, it is Tuesday. I nearly said Sunday, I don't know why. It's 10 to 3 in the afternoon and I wanted to give you a reading update. I have now finished The Goal by Elle Kennedy and I gave this one five stars. This was my favourite of the series. I really did love the first one but this is definitely my favourite of the series. I love Tucker and this is a really nice wrap up to the series as well. Really weird though because... Briar U essentially follows straight on, I think. Yeah, it does. Essentially follows straight on from the Off Campus series. So this is a new series now following uh, Fitzy, uh, who is someone we've semi come across throughout this ser series. Um, so yeah, I loved the goal. I gave it five stars. This was so, so good. Can't tell you any more than what I already told you about this one because it will spoil things, but I really enjoyed this one. Five stars. I'm obsessed with Tucker. He's fantastic. I love him. So I do highly recommend this series, the Off Campus series, and I have now decided that this is just going to be an L Kennedy vlog. <laughs> We're not picking up the prison healer. Told you. <laughs> My apologies. Um, we're actually going to pick up Chase <laughs> by L. Kennedy and I already have done. Um, I'm 45 pages in so far. So this one is the first in a new series which is Briar U. So like I say we're still following the same hockey team but this is now a new set of guys that have kind of come through. So as the original guys that we've been following have um, graduated, not all of them have graduated, Garrett, Logan and Tucker Oh no, they have, and Dean. They've all graduated. So 
Uh, we're now following the younger lads that were on the team that are coming through now. So we're following Fitzy, uh, Colin Fitzgerald, um, and on the back it says, everyone says opposites attract. And they must be right because there's no logical reason why I'm so drawn to call it Colin Fitzgerald and I don't usually go for tattooed, covered, video gaming, hockey playing, nerd jocks who think I'm flirty and super flighty and superficial. His narrow view of me in the first is the first strike against him. It doesn't help that his buddy buddy with my brother and that his best friend has a crush on me and that I just moved in with them. Oh, did I not mention that we're roommates? I suppose it doesn't matter. Fitzy has made it clear he's not interested in me even though sparks between us are liable to burn our house down. I'm not the kind of girl who chases after a man though and I'm not about to start. I've got my hands full dealing with a new school, a sleazy professor and an uncertain future. So if my sexy brooding roomie wises up and realises what he's missing, he knows where to find me. So in this one we're following Summer and Fitzy. Summer is Dean's little sister. Um, so I'm really excited to read this one and see this story. We already, I've already found out that Summer's got ADHD in here as well. So um, rep for ADHD in here and yeah I think I'm really going to enjoy this one I'm really excited um, so yeah 45 pages in this is what I'm going to read for the rest of the day I'm hoping to get this finished today and then that will be the end of this reading vlog so let's see what damage I can do over the next few hours I don't want to let you down it's the only thing I think about every morning You know my life ain't figured out But I promise if you stick around it'll never get boring We'll spend nights with cheap red wine Look at flats even though we can't afford them I don't wanna let you down I don't wanna lose you now Will you stay Even when you wanna walk away When time Get bad We can learn to love what we have I don't wanna let you down Without you would be boring And we'll spend nights Cheap red wine Look at flats Even though we can't afford them I don't wanna let you down I don't wanna lose you now I don't wanna let you down Noon. It is Thursday and we're going to wrap this reading vlog up. Um, it's currently a quarter past 12. I entirely forgot to wrap this up the other day so my apologies for that but here we are wrapping this up. You may have seen previous to this clip some clips from Thomas's birthday. I've thrown those in just to jazz it up a little bit and because I filmed them they need to go somewhere so they might as well go in this reading vlog um, but yeah I've thrown those in previous to this clip so I hope you enjoyed those so the books that I managed to read over the two days which was Monday and Tuesday were these three and I had a really good time so I read The Score by L. Kennedy which is book three in the off-campus series and I gave this one four stars I really really enjoyed this one it was fantastic really liked it then I gave The Goal, which is the fourth and final book in the off-campus series, five stars. I really, really, really loved Tucker, who is the main character, one of the main characters in here. I really, really enjoyed him and I enjoyed his story overall. Very, very good. Would highly recommend not reading the backs of these as you go through the series. Read the back of the first one and if you enjoyed the first book, continue the series, but don't read the synopsis for them because they will spoil the book for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like the synopsis gives out to much information on these books so don't read those i could have given you all the information off the back of the book but i didn't want to because i feel like that's a spoiler and i don't want to do that so um i mean it's all there if you do want to know what's in the book it's on the back of the book but uh, the goal five stars and then i read the chase by l kennedy which is the first in the briars u series i would recommend reading the off-campus series before briar u that was that's the whole point anyway they've been written that way 
but I would recommend that Fitzy, who is the main character in here, is featured ever so slightly in the Off Campus series, but not too heavily. So, um, and it's important to kind of get his back-ish backstory from the um, Off Campus series. And also, the guys from the Off Campus series do feature in here, so you will know, if you pick this up first, you will find out what happens with their relationships from this book. So don't do that to yourself because that will be annoying. Um, so in this one, I can't remember what I've told you about this. So in this one, we're following Fitzy and also Summer. Summer is Dean's sister. Dean was the guy that the second book is featured on, The Mistake. Um, so Summer is Dean's sister and she transfers to Briar and um, ends up becoming flatmates with Fitzy, Hollis and also Hunter who are some of the guys from the hockey team. So yeah we're following Fitzy in this one. I really enjoy Fitzy as a character. He is um, obviously tall. He's a hockey player. He's tall, fit, he's tattooed which is very different to the rest of the hockey players that we've followed so far. Um, and he's a gamer. He's way more of a nerd than a jock and I love that. Um, definitely kind of a trait that I'm really liking a guy so yeah it was really really good i really enjoyed it do be careful um there is sexual assault in here so trigger warnings for that not particularly heavily but attempted sexual assault uh and i think feel like it was dealt with really well to begin with it was not dealt with very well at all but as you go on it is dealt with i've cut my finger and i don't know how i've managed that it's really sore um, but otherwise, yeah, this was really good. Also rep for ADHD. Summer's got ADHD. Um, I do not have ADHD, so I don't know if this rep is any good, but I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. It was good to see her, um, very kind of, her thoughts jumping from one thing to the next and her internal monologue and stuff, um, and her even answering herself out loud. It was good to kind of see that rep. I don't think I've read a book with ADHD before. I'm not sure. I could be wrong in that, but I don't think I have. Um, so I enjoyed that side of things as well um, and seeing that represented in here. But yeah, I really liked this one. I gave this one four stars. Didn't like it as much as the Off Campus series, but I'm looking forward to continuing on with this series. And I think we'll be following Hollis uh, Hunter. I don't know who the other one will be because I'm, I'm fairly certain there's four in this series as well. But yeah, uh, really enjoyed this one so looking forward to continuing on so yeah that was my l kennedy reading vlog essentially i know i've not read like a whole bunch but uh, i finished off the score and read the goal and chase as well so it was great i had a really good time these covers are just really really pretty and i'm not mad about the investment in the slightest because these are not cheap um but yeah i had a really good time so i hope you have enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments down below what you're reading and if you've read any of these as well let me know what your thoughts were because I'm really interested in that. And I shall see you next time. Bye for now.